Das Wichtige ist, bitte, sorry, I have to do it again. It's so weird to speak German. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode with Glossika. My name is Julian, I'm from Germany, and today with my friends here, we're trying to pronounce some German words and making some guesses. Okay, so the first word. We have a little funny letter in here. Do you guys know what this is called? The two, mm. the two dots above it are called the uh, umlauts. Umlaut, right? that's right, yeah. that's right, yes. You know how to pronounce it? <sighs> I, I know it makes it kind of like crunchy, you have to uh, close your lips a bit. Um, so I think that word, it's like... Rührei. Uh, uh, something like that. Rührei. 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 Ah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, the R is actually quite hard to pronounce for a lot of um, non-native speakers. Because the R is kind of, that's two ways, but the R is really in the throat. R. The other way would be more like the Spanish way. R. Oh. Yeah, in Bavaria, you would actually do that. I went with the R. <laughs> yeah, the R thing, like, you naturally know as a, when you grow up in Germany. I like, everybody so. just like naturally I... learns it. Because in Asia, it's just like so hard. Was to I like know. learn it, pick it up. Yeah, we okay. have it in French. No, no, no. What are you do? Rural, rural. Yeah, the R, same R. Oh, huh. so easy for you. Yeah, the R is okay. So, what do you guys think it means? Ruler, Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dish made with egg from Köln. Maybe a road <laughs> along the Rhine. He's closest. It's scrambled eggs. All right, moving on to the next word. Tschechian. Can? Tschechian. 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 What do you think it is? Uh, it's a breed of a dog. <laughs> For sure. Isn't it a country like who tried to be independent from Russia and failed? I don't know, like a person, like a teacher or something? I think it's um, a person from the Czech Republic, right? Or maybe it's the name of the Czech Republic. Yeah, it's the it name of the Czech Republic. The Czech yeah. Republic, which was why I was stopping for a second when you were saying trying to be independent from Russia. Yeah, Czechian is the Czech Republic. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Good. okay. Good. All right, so. Master Yoda. Uh, Röntgen. Röntgen? Röntgen? Röntgen. Ronchen. <laughs> Spanish for the week. <laughs> you know, you got the umlaut really right. The ö sound is exactly that. Röntgen. It's a kitchen utensil. <laughs> right? Uh, oh. Is it like x-ray or something? X-ray? Grunt is, is round, perhaps. So it's uh, some kind of round thing. Maybe it is a kitchen utensil, but like a roller for baking. Interesting, that's one. Well, it is the X-ray, and actually the X-ray was invented oh. by Mr. Röntgen. Oh, of course. Oh, okay, German. okay. Oh, of course. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen? Um, I'd say uh, Eichhörnchen. Yeah, that's actually very nice. It's Eichhörnchen. And uh, let's see if you can guess the meaning. I think it's some kind of dish made out of eggs, uh, maybe in the shape of a horn. Is hyunhyun like chicken? What do you think? <laughs> so this, ne? Uh, hyunhyun is a horn, so I guess it's something like a unicorn or some kind of animal like in the deer family. A bull. A bull. A bull. <laughs> That's a Spanish speaking in her. Agree. With bull? I'm, I'm, no, not with bull, but with the unicorn. I would agree with unicorn because it then is. it's like eins, zwei. Uh, uh, it is an yeah, animal. <laughs> it is an animal. So, and your approach is, is great because I is, would be an egg. So, the German language has a lot of these compound words. But in that case, actually, the whole word is Eiche, and it's an oak tree. Hörnchen is a. Uh, yeah, you're actually right. It is. It means horn, but what we're talking about is a squirrel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Screw. How do we say it again? Eichhörnchen. Eichhörnchen. And there's a lot of the sounds, but a soft one. Unless you're Swiss German, you would go, I guess, Eichhörn. Eichhörnchen. Yeah, I don't know. Now we're coming to the Heavy real tea. famous long words, um, the insane compound words. Oh, I know the ones. Oh. 
Arbeit soll Arbeitslosigkeit Versicherung. Arbeitslosigkeit Versicherung. Okay, okay. Uh, Arbeitslosigkeit Versicherung. Arbeitslosigkeit Versicherung. That's really good. That's impressive, I have to say. And that's a word that we actually use in German. It's not one of these made up huge really? compound okay. words. We do use this word. So, um, Arbeitslosigkeitsversicherung. <sighs> Work? Mm -hmm. um, Schlossigkeitsversicherung. I don't know any of the rest. Um, Something to do with, with work, that's all I can it tell does, you. It does. <laughs> but wrong, I think that makes it, I think that makes it a noun, right? Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's right. It's a noun, okay, with the UNG ending. Yeah. Um, maybe it's a, a place of work, a construction site. I'm going to guess construction site, sure. Uh, industrial factory, something like that? That sounds German. <laughs> so, uh, if I'm not wrong, Arbeitslosigkeit is when you lose your job out of work and Versicherung is to make, to be sure of something. So I think it's a certificate of uh, unemployment, no, of not being employed, yeah. I have a new guess picking back in, um, off of my friend here. I'm guessing it's unemployment insurance. That's yeah. right. Oh, yeah, that's exactly great. it. Because okay. you said it was a, a word you use normally, so not something True. too technical. Yeah. yeah something we might I, all we, do. We, we don't okay. give certificates for being unemployed, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Quetschenschen. 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 I think, isn't this the German version of quintessence? And it is a little um, toy, a, a duck toy that you take in the bathtub or so oh. that makes the sound like this. <laughs> yeah, that's it, exactly. Well, that's a good one. Let's see. Backpfeif and Gesicht. Backpfeif and Gesicht. And it obviously means backpacking. I'd say a backpacker as well. Or actually the verb, backpacking. Okay, interesting. You are very close. Backpfeif and Gesicht. Backpfeif and Gesicht. Now it has nothing to do with backpacking. Gesicht is the face. And Backpfeif is uh, when you slap someone in the face. And this means... It's a very slappable face. Someone has oh. a face that you just <laughs> like to slap. Like we would why say a punchable you you face in English. That's, that's why. <laughs> right, so back five is like literally like a back five. Yeah. It's, it's like, like five fingers and you. Back is like a cheek. Oh, oh, okay. You have a word for people who has a face that makes you want to slap them? I want to move to Germany That's right pretty now. much, it's a kind of an, an insult, but more in a it's, it's not it's a it's, yeah it's a fun insult okay. like yeah. if someone just looks stupid you know it's like has a buck <laughs> five it's an adjective. Well, it, an adjective no no it's a noun it's a okay, someone okay. who looks Don't like that okay. Okay, okay. okay vielen dank fürs zuschauen hier bei einer weiteren episode von glossika vielen dank auch an meine freunde hier fürs probieren von den tongue twistern und den compound wörtern vielen vielen dank um, vergesst nicht um, den subscribe button zu klicken und es gibt auch seit neuestem eine glossika app der link Seht ihr den Link? Mein Deutsch ist auch nicht mehr das Wahre. Mein Link ähm, seht ihr unten ähm, unter hier eingeblendet. Und ähm, wir freuen uns sehr. Vielen, vielen Dank und auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen! Tschüss! Ciao, Zama!